Now recently, you may have come across articles like this one, or this one, or even this one, or <laughs> the best one of them all, this one, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. And yeah, it, it really is true. But all of this begs the question, can your Fire Stick really be hacked? And not only can it be hacked, but if it can be, what is the actual risk to you? So in this video, I'm going to break down the information I could find online related to Fire Sticks being hacked and also check out the validity of it and how real some of these stories actually are. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Let's get into today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about is all these articles floating around online talking about your Fire Stick being hacked and if there's any validity whatsoever to them. I first became aware of all of these articles thanks to another YouTuber, Freetech, who's in a similar space and he started quote tweeting all of these daily tweets from Lad Bible with almost the same article but written a little bit differently on Fire Sticks being hacked and IPTV being dangerous. And honestly at first I didn't pay any attention to it but when I started seeing them tweeting two to three times a day with a different article on almost the exact same topic, I did start to get a little bit suspicious. And they aren't the only website that does this. I found a few others that do a very similar thing. So that brings us to article number one. What will really happen if you own a Fire Stick with illegal streaming? Now, a basic summary of this article is you can potentially run into issues such as being hacked if you jailbreak your Fire Stick. And what they consider jailbreaking in this instance is any side loading of third party apps. But as all of you know, for the most part, that isn't necessarily dangerous. In fact, it's pretty normal and that doesn't necessarily mean third party streaming apps. But I think what I really took away from this article was this right here where they say the Federation Against Copyright Theft Fact UK has teamed up with Crime Stoppers to undertake more home visits. And the mention of this anti-piracy group is going to pop up later on in this video. Now, article number two here from Lad Bible is not any better. And essentially what they're doing is they're taking a security expert and they're telling us she does not recommend you use third party services. And the biggest summary from this article is honestly a lot of fear mongering on threatening that people could end in jail for using these devices even a little bit. Now they constantly talk about malicious links and back doors to access people's digital and financial information. But one thing I notice in common through all these articles is there's no mention on how this is going to be done. In fact, there's honestly no actual merit to this article whatsoever, and they really don't back up anything with facts whatsoever. No pun intended there either, if you guys got that one. But there are actually quite a few sites that have very similar information. Talking about the same stuff, how third-party apps can be dangerous, how illegal IPTV can get you hacked. But all of them have the same thing in common. They're really not telling us how this is happening or who this is happening to. They don't give us any examples. They're just floating this out there and then telling us to use a VPN or just not to use it at all. And listen, me as much as anybody else, I love to sell you guys VPNs, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. Although the link is down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out. So we're gonna get back to these articles a little bit later in the video because there are actual concrete examples of Fire Sticks being hacked. However, it's not in the way that they are representing it, and that, that's for sure. Amazon recently has also talked about a potential flaw in a brand new feature that they just released for their Fire Stick, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video as well. Now, up to this point, it has been pretty difficult to find actual evidence online that Fire Sticks have been hacked, but the story I was able to find involved a bunch of teenagers that didn't hack Fire Sticks, but instead used a Fire Stick to hack one of the biggest gaming companies in the world. So long story short, there were a bunch of teenagers and there's some pretty smart kids and they did some stupid shit. They got caught a bunch of times hacking big companies like Nvidia, Microsoft, and a bunch of other ones. And yeah, they got in trouble and they eventually got arrested. Which I have to say, if you're that smart and you're hacking companies, 
you should just tell them that you can hack them because you can get pretty big bounties for being able to hack these companies. It can actually be a pretty lucrative career. Now, one of these kids were stationed in a travel lodge, I guess for their safety and to keep them away from computers. I guess they went down to like a local store purchased a fire stick and with that fire stick they were able to access cloud servers and using that they were able to hack gta 6 rockstar games and leak footage before it was even released and if you don't know it also seemed like this led to gta 6 trailer coming out early uh, where they probably would have released it later so yeah i just thought it was kind of funny that the one story i did find involved somebody using a fire stick to hack a major company. But before we talk about Lad Bible and some stuff about fact, let's get into this new vulnerability that potentially could cause you issues. Could. Very, very small could. So let's talk about the one new feature that maybe potentially could be hacked. And I actually talked about this one a few weeks ago, if you guys remember. And that's where you can get a virtual keyboard just by scanning a QR code on your Fire Stick it will pop up in a browser and you can use a keyboard on your phone that's connected to your Fire Stick to easily type in commands on your device. Now, the tech firm Green Line Analytics found this exploit where using this QR code, if somebody could potentially get a picture or a video of it, they could then use that QR code to control your device and install potential unwanted apps, which then would allow them to control your Fire Stick in one way or the other. Now, that's going to sound pretty scary to some of you, but I want to say, first of all, Amazon has already removed this feature for now until they fix this potential exploit. And the fix is actually pretty simple. But on top of that, there's two issues with this. For one, they need to get that picture or a video. And if you guys know, I did a video on it and I left the QR code out open because I never have my device plugged in, so you can't really control it. Now, on top of that, this feature the QR code, it refreshes, it seems like every week or a little bit before that. So they would need to do this in a very small time frame, which isn't super realistic. And this brings us back to the main point of the video. And I want to talk about this before we move on to Lad Bible. And that is, could your Fire Stick be hacked? And I want to start by saying, yes, it could be. There's always that possibility. But the better question is, will it be hacked? And the realistic answer to that is there isn't a lot of cases of it. I personally wasn't able to find any myself. Now, that doesn't mean they don't exist. It just means it's not really happening and it clearly isn't a widespread issue. So let's talk about these Lad Bible weirdos really quick and a little bit of information on why I think they're posting and other websites are posting so many of these articles. Now we have to talk about the biggest hypocrites in this video and that's Lad Bible. If you remember, that was the company that was posting all those articles about hacked fire sticks, illegal IP TV, and constantly tweeting about it still to this day. Now, if you remember in the article, that organization FACT, which is the big anti-piracy group in the UK, there's actually a bunch of anti-piracy groups such as ACE in the US and Motion Picture Association and a few others as well. And it's pretty well known that they put out quite a bit of propaganda regarding streaming and devices and jailbreaking and all this. And let me be clear, I am okay with people protecting their copyright infringement. I think that is fine. I just think that's not the solution. I think the solution is making content affordable. But we all know that's not a realistic goal. So I have no doubt that Lad Bible is posting these articles because of either uh, a collaboration or a close relationship with fact in this case. Because why else would a company spam posts daily trying to scare people into not streaming? And let's be honest, that's exactly what they were doing in those articles. There really wasn't any backup towards the statements that they were providing. It was just a whole lot of baloney. And this is what I found the funniest, is Lad Bible, the company that is trying to get you not to infringe on copyright content has actually been well known to steal people's content and videos and repost it on their own platforms, monetizing content that they don't actually own the rights to. I mean, how hypocritical can you be? You post all these articles, you clearly are doing it because of fact or uh, some other association with them, whether it's a top CEO that's friends with him or you guys actually get money for it. And while you're doing that, you go and steal content yourself. And I have no doubt it's still happening to this day. 
So that's pretty much it to answer your question. Can your fire stick be hacked? Yes. Is it going to? Probably not. Thanks for watching, guys.